Hello guys, how is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. You're watching Minecraft Sekai and welcome to episode 3 of our Medieval Village Let's Build series. If you haven't seen the previous two episodes, make sure to do so to catch up with what we've built so far. As for this episode, I'm going to be building a pottery maker's house, a barn, and a pasture housing some sheep and cows, a little chicken coop, and some crop farms of beetroot, potatoes, and carrots. And that is, that is it, that's the plan for this episode. Now, as always guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video, it really helps a lot. And if you like the content on this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on new content. And with that said, let's start the time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse as always and uh, again let's take a little look around the new buildings and show you the interior of this bad boy over here and also the barn and the chicken coop I assume <laughs> but yeah let's let's see what we have here so first we have a well hmm? just a little tiny well 
a well is always essential in a village. You know, where where are the villagers are gonna get their water? They need a well. And I'll probably add some other wells around. Maybe two more somewhere here. I don't know. Uh, I just think that one well seems too little hmm, for the villagers. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that's the well. <laughs> I've got a bucket of water over here, and I've got some uh, some stuff around the well here to indicate that life is in this village, that people are taking water from the well into their, uh, their dwellings. And yeah, that's it. Now, here we have the pottery maker's house. Again, I'm not sure if that's the profession's name, but that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm calling it. And yeah, the pottery maker. Let's let's check out the house first, and then we could look at the workshop or working area there. So, this is the house. Pretty simple, just like the other houses. Pretty simple, simple interior. As you can see, you've got a table with seats and some food and some drinks on the table. I forgot to put anything on this item frame. Whatever. We've got some pots, a cup right there, a sea pickle. I like to put these sea pickles here, representing cups, they look good. We have a, an oven, an oven right here to cook food. Mm, mm, just like in the other houses, nothing nothing new here, just simple interior. Mm, and we have the bedroom, the master bedroom for the parents. We've got a double bed right there, we've got a little hay carpet and a chest, a flower pot right there on top of this table. It's, it's a scaffolding. It's, it's scaffolding. <laughs> and here we have a log with a lantern on top of it. And upstairs we have the children's room, sleeping area. Uh, I guess they only have one kid, or maybe two. One sleeps on the, on the sleeps on, on this uh, this carpet, and one on the bed. Maybe they take turns. I don't know. Maybe they only have one. Moving on, let's check out the pottery maker's workshop behind this door over here. As you can see, we have two big ovens right there to get the pottery or pots dried. You know, after they're being made, after, after they have been made, right here, and this on top of this uh, thing. I guess this is supposed to be the little contraption or machine that the pottery maker is making the pots with. I mean, this is as far as I can get in Minecraft. Just a table formed by trapdoors. <laughs> I don't know if I can get anywhere, cl anywhere closer to the actual machine with the, uh, the blocks that I have here. But yeah, that's supposed to be the machine with the wheel and stuff. You know, you know what, which machine I'm talking about. But yeah, that's where where the pot is made. As you can see, you have some pots right there. We have some bricks, and we have a stone cutter to cut the bricks, I assume, and also the pots, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, here we have some firewood to fuel these two bad boys, and we have some barrels and a bucket of water right there. And yeah, that's it. That's the workshop. And that's all there's to it. Now, let's check out this garden right here. And the entrance for this garden is actually all the way over here. I guess it belongs to these people living in this wooden house. So, you get through this uh, narrow alley into the garden right here where we have some beetroot that has yet to fully grow and we also have some uh, carrots that still are not grown fully grown yet and yeah that's it we have a tree here we have some barrels we have a seat right there another one over there just to sit down relax and enjoy the view here it's a pretty garden and also we have a lot a lot a lot of shade big thanks to the, thanks to this tree we also have some firewood here and yeah, that's it. This is actually one of the one of those trees over there that I just uh, copy pasted and edited the, the the trunk a little bit. These trees came with the with the map right here. 
Uh, if you want this map without any of this, these buildings right here, check out the description. It's made by Latticemus. Great map. The best Minecraft uh, custom map I've ever seen in my life. And I, uh, I like it. It's great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's it. That's the little garden. We have a, we also have another garden right here, with a giant carrot field here and potatoes right there. And this field is uh, mostly harvested too. As you can see, we have some uh, potatoes right there on the barrels or in the barrels and on the floor, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And that's it for this little garden here. Now, let's check out the barn here, okay? Let's get inside the barn and here we are. As you can see, we have some horses here and this naughty boy got out of, the, of his pen. Go back to your pen, man! Or horse. We don't want any surprises. Uh, we don't. We don't want any you know, any tiny horses around here. Come on, we're happy w with what we have. Go back. I guess I'll have to get him back to his pen later. <laughs> okay, so here we have some hay, a lot of hay, scattered around. A barrel with a, with a lantern on top of it for some lighting, and that's it. And this barn is mostly for horses. One, two, three stalls for horses, and this remaining area is for the a other animals, the cows and the sheep. And I guess the, the, you know, they get inside only when it's raining or when we have some bad weather. You know, because they can't really stay inside there all day long because it's pretty crammed. Anyways, yeah, they stay there when the weather is bad. And as you can see, we have a ton of sheep. I hope they can fit in that bar. <laughs> and we have some cows. We have one, two, three cows. Oh, four. Yeah, we have four cows right there. And I guess one chicken uh, that escaped from the chicken coop. Go back to your coop pen, whatever. What, what are you doing here? Little naughty chicken. Anyways, <laughs> let's check out the chicken coop right now. As you can see, we have chickens right there in the chicken coop. What a what a what a surprise! <laughs> As you can see, they just throw in eggs. This is the entrance, by the way, to get to the chicken coop. I guess it belongs to these people here. But yeah, they just throw in eggs on the ground. They 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 have no responsibility. These are your kids, you little thingies. Why why are you throwing your kids on the ground? <laughs> Anyways, we have some nests right here with eggs. I guess they don't care about nests. Also have some... Uh, what is this called again? Uh, seeds. <laughs> Just some seeds thrown in the on the ground. We we'll have some hay over here. Another nest right there. And that's it for this little yard. Inside this hen house, I guess it's called. And uh, yeah, inside we have some... Uh, some nests with eggs. I guess I forgot to put some chickens on top here. I'll do that later. Uh, I'll see uh, if I can get them uh, on top of these nests with commands, you know, to look like they're incubating the eggs. Yeah, that would look awesome. I just forgot to do it. I'll, I'll do it later. Later. But yeah, I guess that's all there is to it for this, uh, for, for what we've built in this episode. There's not, not, nothing more. Yeah, that's, that's all of it, I hope. <laughs> and yeah, as always, guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video. It really, really helps a lot. Also, if you like the content on this channel, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on any new, awesome, beautiful content like this, this episode. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed every single minute. <laughs> yeah, see you guys later. Take care.